to it on YouTube. I got this load of red oak in that was in the last video and I don't have a splitter here today because the splitter is out on rent. I do have another one of those 25 ton Spico log splitters and it's just over here in front of the 40 yard bin at the front of the wood yard. It's been down for a bit because of the hose that broke. Uh, I replaced it and I got the wrong hose. It didn't have the metal coil in it so that I could keep the hose from collapsing. So when I refilled the reservoir, because it drained with the cracked hose, it's all new fluid. I put it in and then the hose is collapsing under the pressure. It's the low pressure hose, it's not a hydraulic hose. And I gotta change that. Otherwise, uh, I'm not too unhappy about that because I like splitting red oak, it splits really easy. And while I was at the job site picking up all this wood, I took my chainsaw there so I could cut it to length so that you know I don't have to cut here and build up the sawdust and then I don't have to depend on the tree cutters to cut the wood to the length that I want. There's a lot of straight wood in here so it's going to bust up really easy. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with this and uh, it's a lot of crate wood too. It's all like perfectly straight so it's for my IBC coats for my customers in the city. So let's get the tire out because the tire is going to help me buzz through this a lot quicker as well. But anyways, let's get to it. I gotta start over on this side because I gotta clear a path through here. There pretty much is a path right now, so it won't take many to clear a path. So I gotta get that wheelbarrow in the back. I only say that's a big problem. If I have too much wood in here, I can't move the wood to the back and there's no working space for me. going to be fun. The thing that I don't like about the axe, the only thing is, I mean, it's more work, but it is fun. Kind of equals out, but you know, unless you're working to go perfectly accurate, sometimes you don't split it the right way and you make some, or you hit it, it cracks it in two. And then you don't want to, that to crack in two. Then they're two smaller pieces. And this is fun. Wow. I'm cutting them a little thinner than I like to, some of them anyway, because they've got a year to dry. A lot of these are going to be 18 inch. So, red oak needs sometimes some of these pieces. You know, red oak needs more than a year, but sometimes some of these pieces will take a little longer. So, you kind of got to balance when you're splitting. You know, if you want some ready for this year, you split them a little bit thinner. But that's more work. That's so you don't have to wait two years. I mean, your selling season could be like five months because a lot of people will run out in, you know, January, February, March even they'll call you. Sometimes people call you in April. But a lot of times when they call you in April, you know, I've had times where I couldn't get to the wood because the wood is kind of like not priority at that time, you know? I can't get in there right away. In a couple days pass, it gets a little warmer, the customer won't even answer their phone. They start thinking, well, why spend the money now, right? They can just wait it out. So even some of those are still a little too big, but yeah, I just don't want to split them net more because see when the time comes to sell those, they weigh so much less and it seems like more work because you, you know you have more pieces and you know you kind of regret it right from about mid spring then I'll start splitting wood in bigger pieces because all that wood is not going to be ready for this season so that could save me some time So 
how many to go. They're all just ready to go. There's only like maybe, I'd say a dozen pieces at most, maybe even eight in here that, I, that got a cut. Not in there. Not too bad. get much better than this guys this is a lot faster than my log splitter and I'm not working on it I'm not swinging my hardest I'm just about to finish up. It's getting late. I got about half the pile done. I wouldn't be surprised if this one comes apart too. I'll try and drive the axe right down the center. and separate this crotch piece here. Take a look at this. But you see I cut all around this and it came out fine. There's hardly an edge that's uh, twisted or curved or whatever. You just gotta know where to split it in the right place. Let's go for the center of this. I don't know, something about this, this just looks beautiful to me. It happens a lot when the trees are together like this, you get the two stems. It looks really nice in the sugar maple too. That's all she wrote. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.